everyone, in this video we're gonna talk about the natural base E. We're gonna see what the graph looks like, uh, what expression does the natural base E uh, approach, or what is it very similar to, um, and we're gonna fill out this table of values here at the bottom to help us out with that. So some interesting discoveries in the world of mathematics include special numbers, like a couple we've worked with um, so far in Algebra 2 videos this year, even Algebra 1, Geometry, Pi, for example, 3.141592, so on and so forth, right? Irrational number, it continues forever, it doesn't have a pattern. And also the imaginary unit i that we looked at here in Algebra 2 with our complex number system. So another special number that we're going to talk about in this video is denoted by the letter e, and this number is called the natural base e. And the expression that I mentioned earlier that approaches e as x increases is 1 plus 1 over x raised to the x power. And so what I'm going to do is a couple different ways we're going to illustrate this. One with a table where we have x values of powers of 10, so 10 to the first, 10 squared, 10 cubed, all the way up to 10 to the sixth. Um, and just kind of see what decimal approximation we are approaching, and then we'll look at the, the graph of this as well. So I'm going to bring my graphing calculator on the screen here, and we're going to go ahead and fill out this table of values. So for my first one, I'm going to go ahead and open a parentheses, and we're going to do 1 plus 1 divided by 10. We're going to close this parentheses and we're going to raise it to a power of 10. So here's our decimal that we get. We're going to fill out our table 2.59374. Okay, so we'll do that to, to five decimal places there. All right, so now we're going to do the next one. So 1 plus 1 over, and we could do 100 because we know 10 squared is 100, but I'll show you that you can use uh, 10 squared here. So now we're going to close the parentheses and we're going to raise it to a power of 10 squared. Right, so now we get 2.70481, okay? All right, now let's go up to, to 10 cubed. One plus one divided by 10 cubed. Close the parentheses there and raise it to a power of 10 cubed. Okay, so here we get 2.71692, 2.71692, okay? Now let's do 10 to the fourth. So 1 plus 10, oh, not 1 plus 10, 1 plus 1 divided by 10 to the fourth power. We will close this parentheses and raise that to the power of 10 to the fourth. So here we get 2.7181, 2.71814. All right, just a couple more here and we'll be able to illustrate uh, what we're trying to get across here as far as what our decimal approximation approaches, okay? So one divided by, or one plus one divided by 10 to the fifth power, and once again, we will close the parentheses and raise this to a power of 10 to the fifth. Okay, so here we get 2.71826, 2.71826, and for our final y value here, so one plus one divided by 10 to the sixth power, Go ahead and close that parenthesis and raise it to a power of 10 to the sixth. All right, and we get 2.71828 for our decimal, 2.71828. So the natural base E, as we see here, is irrational, right? Just like pi and i, it's going to continue on forever. It does not have a pattern. It doesn't repeat. Um, so it is irrational, and it can be defined as, as x approaches positive infinity, uh, 1 plus 1 over x to the x power approaches e, which we can approximate as this number right here, 2.71828182846, right? And so basically, you know, as we say pi is 3.14, uh, we could say e is 2.718 or 2.72 if we're approximating it to the nearest hundredth there. Okay, so now let's also illustrate this on our graphing calculator by graphing. Um, and let's point out just a couple um, buttons on the calculator that involve the, the natural base E here. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and go to Y equals. And for Y1, we're gonna graph just E, right? Y equals E. So if you notice right here, the division button, we have that blue E in the top left-hand corner. Um, if you're using your TI-84 plus calculator in your hand, um, it's still the division button, but notice the E is located just to the top of the button which just means we need to hit the second key, so second and division, and we're gonna graph y1 is equal to e. 
Now for y2, let's graph this expression that we said is very similar, or um, x approaches, as x approaches positive infinity, it's going to approach y equals e. So remember with y equals e, we're saying e is approximately 2.72. So if we're just saying y equals 2.72, that'd be like just a horizontal line on our graph, right? So that's what, that's what y equals e is gonna look like. So now let's type in this expression, one plus one divided by x and we're gonna raise it to the power of x. So now before I hit graph, I wanna adjust my window because um, this, this second equation that we graphed is an inverse function, right? So it's gonna have two pieces. Well, with y equals e, all we care about is as x approaches positive um, infinity. So we really don't need um, our negative values here for our x min or really our y min, okay? And now let's, uh, let's adjust our x max to, um, Let's go with 50 and just see how that looks, and let's hit graph. Okay, so now as we see here, um, here is our, um, our reciprocal function, uh, y equals uh, one plus one over x raised to the x power. And then this horizontal function here uh, would be y equals e, right? We said it's just a horizontal line. So if you notice that you know, at the beginning, we are um, you know, a little bit lower than our line, so maybe you know, a little bit less than two um, right there. Uh, but as we get to the right, as we increase, as our domain increases towards positive infinity, uh, notice how that, that is curving up towards y equals e. And it looks like it's just right there across, uh, going right there with it, it's not gonna cross it. And so that's why we use that expression to say e is very similar to that, or that expression, expression approaches e as we increase that expression towards positive infinity, okay? So that's a little bit about the natural base E and also what the decimal approximation is that E is uh, very close to.